We're going to talk about building a home bar in the basement. This is the space I'm looking to convert. So this so there is going to be a L-shaped island there in the corner with four seating spaces. And then there is going to be a sink with hard cold water. There is a utility room right behind that wall so the lines can go easily in. Then we're going to have a feature wall with a TV in the middle and four shelves uh, for drinks. Here I have started to remove the carpet. Uh, there is concrete floor below it. And now we have everything vacuumed up. We then have the underlayment for vapor barrier and the floor has started to go in. Here you can see the floor is almost done and I finished it off with some quarter round molding for the corners and some transition pieces between the carpet and start of the wood floor. I've started to make the frame of the island out in the garage. All the curts are made using a circular saw. I don't have an electric miter or table saw, so this is a pretty DIY project. Here you can see the frame has been laid out in the corner. Then some plywood pieces are going to go on top of it. I'm going to add some nails to keep this together. Uh, I'm not going to add a whole lot because gravity here is in my favor and the rest of the structure is going to go on top of this which will keep this together anyway. Now I have top part of the frame laid out. Um, I'm going to add more vertical support later when I know where the drawers and cabinets are going to go. I do have a pocket hole jig so most of the joints um, are using the pocket hole screw connection. Here I have added more 2x4 pieces to create the vertical support for the raised island. Here more of the vertical support for the raised counter has been built out. Some notches has, has been cut in that top uh, piece to install the metal support for the countertop and you can also see the electrical outlets uh, being installed. These are the metal brackets for the countertop. These are usually made for stone countertops and uh, mine is going to be plywood here but I figured it can't hurt to give it the extra support. And you can see the electric wiring is in. I now have the front covered in plywood. All plywood used is half inch uh, except the countertops are going to be three quarter plywood. And I threw on a laser there to make sure that things are straight. And then these wood planks to finish off the front of the island. We have the three quarter inch plywood for the countertops. And then I'm going to use these one by two 
hardwood strips sold at the big box store for the edges to give it a nice look. I have used wood glue and some brad nails to stick this together. Then we have this back wall. The TV goes in in the middle. And then we have these rail stone tiles, but they are stick on to make the project a little bit easier. And then the four shelves in between. For the countertops, I'm going to do an epoxy pour so you can see everything here is covered up because it's going to get messy. And then we got the countertops primed up. Um, we're waiting for them to dry before we do the epoxy pour. This is after the epoxy has been poured. I've installed some drawers for storage and some LED lights for underglow. Now this is the final build. Mm -hmm. 